In this video, I am going to explain you the full procedure of how to do export business in India. Starting an export business is always an important expansion of any business. If you are planning to start an export business or has any doubt in your mind, then this article is for you. From tradition to the modern age, export business has never lost its shine in this ever-changing work environment. But one of the problems associated with this business is the lengthy and complex documentation. As said invention or innovation always takes birth in the arms of the problem, we have big capitalized on this problem and wrote this article to share the practical points on how to start an export business in India. How to start an export business in India. To understand it well, I have broken this into easy steps ampersand videos and infographics. Let us understand this step by step. First, choose your form of business. Choosing your form of business is like choosing a vehicle for a very long journey. Always remember, once you start your business with any form of business, it is very difficult to change it later on. Here are some of the important business forms. Proprietorship Partnerships Limited Liability Partnerships LLP Limited Company One Person Company Proprietorship and limited companies are mostly chosen by the entrepreneurs in India. Choose your form of business wisely. Second, type of exporter. Once you have chosen your form of business, then you have another choice to make. There are two types of exporter in India, merchant exporter and manufacturer exporter. Merchant exporter. Person who exports goods by purchasing from any third party and who is not a manufacturer is known as merchant exporter. Manufacturer exporter. As the name suggests, the person who manufactures good and export the same is known as manufacturer exporter. Third, import export codec. After choosing your form of business and type of exporter, then it is the time to register for import-export code, commonly known as import-export code. The process of getting the import-export code is 100% online, and there is no need to visit any government office. Here are some important points on import-export code. Import-export code is mandatory to start the export business. Import-export code once issued is valid for lifetime. There is no compliance related with import-export code. Fourth, register with Export Promotional Council RCMC. RCMC stands for Registration Com Membership Certificate. Always remember, if you are an exporter of goods, then it is mandatory to register with the Export Promotional Council or with Commodity Board of India. Example, if you are doing a business of coconuts, then you should register with Coconut Development Board CDB. Further, for some products, you may also have to register for more than one Export Promotion Councils. Fifth, Inspection Certificate. After taking the above registrations, inspection certificates are also important. As per Export Quality and Inspection Act 1963 it important to provide for the sound development of the export trade of India. The Export Inspectional Council of India will help in getting the inspection certificates. 6. Get a freight forwarder. They are the ticketing agents for cargo system. Mode of shipment of the cargo may be sea, land or air. The freight rate is decided based on the three parameters, FISRT mode of shipment, second destination port and third volume of shipment, hire a freight forwarder, final the rate and then proceed further. Seventh, perform invoice by, after the initial discussion with the buyer, the exporter should send the perform invoice to the buyer of goods with the maximum details possible like quality, goods description, mode of payment, mode of transportation, packing material, etc. Once the buyer gets the performing invoice, then he shall approve the performing invoice and then proceed to next step. 8. Commercial invoice G. Commercial invoice is just like a normal sales invoice. It should be prepared after the confirmation from the buyer on export order. Once the commercial invoice is issued, and then register yourself with our formal bank. 9. Add code registration. Add code stands for authorized dealer code. Before filing any export bill, authorized dealer code must be registered with any scheduled commercial banks in India. With the help of import-export code, the scheduled bank will generate the authorized dealer code. Further, 
the exporter shall register their import-export code and authorized dealer code with the customs authorities. Authorized dealer code helps to check whether export proceeds have been realized or not. Tenth, shipping instructions. Depending upon the nature of goods, it has to be shipped under specific instructions. Some goods can be dangerous or may be perishable or any other type, so they have to be shipped according to the various international conventions, example IOTA, HAZMAT, etc. Shipping instructions are furnished by the freight forwarder after they are apprised of the various aspects of shipment. 11th, Packing List PL. Packing list contains the item-wise packing contents. It serves for all the parties like exporter, importer, customs authorities, transport agencies, etc. About the content of the packaging, customs authorities may check the goods based on the PL provided. 12. Shipping bill. Shipping bill is generated when the commercial bill, PL or other documents are submitted. This act can be done either yourself or by custom housing agents. The shipping bill then shall be filed with the port concerned. The shipping bill can be filed online on IceGate. After receiving the shipping bill, the assessing officer shall check whether details provided are correct or not and the exportability of goods in consonance with the act or rules made thereunder. 13th. Let export order Leo. Once the assessing officer is satisfied, then he shall issue let export order. 14th. Stuffing slash loading of goods in container. The shipping bill along with let export order shall be submitted to streamer agent who shall then approach a proper officer po for allowing the shipment. The loading of goods into the ship is done under the supervision of customs authorities. 15th. Bill of lading. Bill of lading is derived from the old English word i.e. loading. Bill of lading is issued by the carrier vessel after the goods are loaded. It specifies the title of goods, mode of transport, mode of payment, packing content, etc. Bill of lading is one of the most important documents. This bill shall be handed over to the buyer of the goods so that he can claim the goods once they reach his country. 16th. Export General Manifest. Shipping lines or its agents furnish the general export manifest to the customs within seven days from the date of sailing the goods. EGM contains all the list of all items that are loaded or were present on the ship while it sailed from the port. The EGM is the final confirmation of the physical export of the goods. This also helps in sanction of the duty drawbacks. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my video. I have tried to explain the full export procedure from end to end. In the case of any doubt or query or feedback, please drop your query in my mail at karakitagruel at gmail.com or whatsapp me at 7800616418. I would love to help you out. And if you like my video, then please subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates and knowledge.